All right, guys, let's go through how to do some shell provisionals the way I like to do them. Um, is I, I already have a mock-up made and a solid printable model of that mock-up. And then that's what I bring into my shell provisional module. Here I'm using Plameca's version of XLCAD. It's called PlanCAD Premium. It's the same thing except optimized for Plameca's mills and scanners. So everything I'm showing you will apply to, to XLCAD Galway. So <clears throat> let's go ahead and get started here. Default client. I'm going to name this patient shell. I'm going to click on uh, tooth number six here and go to eggshell crown, 3D print in this particular instance. And I'm going to change my default here, slope shoulder. Um, let's just go ahead and call it uh, negative one here. Shoulder width, 0.3. The defaults to 0.5. And taper slope, zero. Minimum thickness, 0 0.3 and hit OK. Let's go ahead and shift click that all the way to tooth number 12. I'm not going to do connectors. And that's it. No opposing, no antagonist. We're going to go ahead and save and go straight to design. Um, hey guys, one thing on the on the printing group, it'd be helpful if people didn't always argue about, you know, all these random things that don't matter. Let's focus on creating content and learning. Um, there's a couple of people that just like to, you know, try to push a hidden agenda of their any cubic frozen shuffle printer that they're selling and, you know, all this kind of stuff. Just, it's not cool. Let's create content we could all learn from. All right, so I'm gonna actually um, load a fresh model here. Let me see if I could find Yeah, here's a wax up that I have right here. Nice wax up. This wax up is a solid printable model here. And that's what you want. You don't want any hidden shells anywhere in the model. Any folded meshes. You want a solid, nice model like this. So orientation, I'm going to look straight down hit next. I'm going to skip small crater because the wax up was already made with the small crater. And then literally, I'm going to show you how fast it is. You just click the tooth. And then I like to hit up a few times to bring those margins a little super gingerly. But what you don't want to do is have these balls inside of the tooth mesh because then it's going to constrict that margin. So you want these to be a little bit um, bulky, especially here in the interproximals. You have to be careful. So if you look at this interproximal here, it looks like it's starting to fold in. And so the way that you get around by to be able to visualize that as you hide your jaw scan. And yeah, you see this fold here? You want to add another control point and bring that out a little bit. Does that make sense? Again, you don't want your balls constricted inside because then your virtual prep is going to be very aggressive. So those are little tips. But usually it's just super fast, so that's, that's all I do. I click the tooth. It tries to find a hard seam. Um, in this particular case, I'm going to bring these down and out a little bit like that. And then I'm going to hit up here. So I'm a little bit super gingerful, checking to make sure nothing's folded in and especially on the interproximal. So I'm going to go to hide my jaw scan at another click and bring that out. Very good. Okay, let's keep moving on. This is a super fast process usually. Um, so once again, I'm just gonna bump that up. Next, look the tooth, check for folds. Um, this actually looks really good. I'm gonna bump it up one or two hundred microns. Hit next. And proceed on the wizard. So you're just literally clicking each tooth. It does auto segmentation. Um, bump it up a few times and uh, hit next. Checking to make sure that those balls are with within the um, outer layer of the tooth shell or more protrusive, um, more bulky. So like again, never want it in. You want it out. 
bump it up a few times, hit next. And I'm going to come over here and I think this is my last one. I think we'll just do a simple case like this. Don't like how that's curling out, so I'm going to bump that out there. And then that's it. So now we have the ability to freeform. I don't need to freeform anything because I like the proposal. Um, my inner proximals, I'm going to go ahead and cut intersections so that I have good proximal contacts on my distals. <clears throat> and then here's where we could basically change the path of insertion to individual insertion. So that we maximize the conservative nature of the prep to each individual tooth rather than a um, coincident insertion path. Okay, like this is definitely not on the long axis of the tooth. That's looking pretty conservative. And the way that you could tell is you turn off your anatomic and look at your virtual preps. Looking pretty good. I think we're all set. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit next. And it's going to now create the actual shells. Everything is uh, default to what we said at the beginning of the, the proposal software. <clears throat> so here's our shells. Perfect. Ready to go. Um, so I'm going to right click and hit save scene as desktop. I'm just going to, let me just, let me just save it here. Let's call this shell. <clears throat> shape visible objects default coordinate system and then I'm going to actually bring on my jaw scan here and I'm going to turn off my shell I'm going to right click and save scene as plain STL and I'm going to call this shell model I'm going to there we go Use default. So this this next step is completely optional. <clears throat> I mean, you could get away with just printing this shell and uh, relining it and picking it up on the day of tooth preparation. Um, I sometimes go in with a handpiece and thin out some of these interproximal areas even further. Uh, but the best way to do this is to put a soft tissue stop. So. What you want to do is open up Mesh Mixer. I like to do it in Mesh Mixer because it's easy for me, but you could do it in ExoCAD or whatever you want to do it in. I'm going to find those models. Uh, where are they? Maybe they're under here. No. Let me see what's going on here. It's right here. What? Let's bring back my mesh mixer. Let me just open my file menu here. Find these files. And I'm going to bring in these two models. So here we go. We have uh, my shell and my shell model. They're so close to one another, you can't, so here's my shell and my shell model. I'm going to make one of these silver here. There. So what we need to do now is the soft tissue um, stops. And the way that I do that is I'm just going to come over here in my mixer, select. Um, for, the first thing that I'm going to do is 
select some, uh, a bar. I make this come up like this. Maybe something like this. Maybe something like that. Big, big B for smooth border. Enter. And then what I'm going to do is hit um, Y to separate that mesh out. So now I could delete um, that model. Then I'm going to come in here and I'm going to control A that to hit D for extrude. And I'm going to go ahead and extrude that just like that to make it at least uh, one and a half millimeters thick, preferentially two. <clears throat> and that is pretty much it there. So then now I have to combine these two meshes and connect them. So what you do is you hit, um, first you shift click both of those and you hit combine. So now they're one STL file. And then what you do is you just go to your, your select tool and add a few bars, maybe one there and one there. And then what you're going to do is go to um, edit tube handle. Ooh, that's a little funky. Let me undo that. Let me pick a different. This is a Corey Glenn technique. Basically, you want these two circles to be Hit V to smooth border, and then go to edit, tube handle. Yep, it's going to create like a little arm. Hit accept. I'll probably do just a few more. So one right here. Let me clear selection. We have one right here to maybe right here. B to smooth border. And then edit, tube handle. I'll probably do hit accept. Clear selection. Again, circle there, circle there, B to smooth border, and edit two handle, accept, clear. I'll do one more, probably on this uh, cuspid right here. B, enter, two handle. And that should be enough. Um, if you're worried about it, you can add one of that premolar, accept. So there we go. Now we have a, a vertical seat. You could do a facial bar. You could do a lingual bar. Um, I'm going to file export this as a print shell. Okay. It is that easy. Um, in real time, when I'm not doing a tutorial, the whole shell provisional process is 10 minutes, maybe. Um, maybe less. All right. I hope this helps.